Problems are easy to identify, but here we like to focus on the solution. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Angela Solutions. Make sure you follow, subscribe, share, like, comment. I would really appreciate it. My goal is to bust out a bunch of, bust out. Mm, that sounds real aggressive. Shout out to the Solutions crew. You know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Today, though, we're talking about relationships, and if you don't mind, I'm going to do some makeup. Um, if you don't like makeup videos, this is not one. I'm just here talking to you. And so, basically, we're going to talk about how to get over an ex. Mm. If you see me looking, I'm looking in the mirror. God bless. So, more than let's talking about, more than us talking about how to get over an ex, let's talk about how to get rid of one. Because the truth is, is if he's over you, you are over him. Why not? It doesn't make any sense, honestly, to talk to somebody who doesn't want you. Somebody who's cheating on you, somebody who is not for you. I mean, do you know who you are? I'm so tired of us women focusing on a man who's dating around town, who's, you know, telling us that we're not good enough, who's making us cry every night. Sis, if you've done a silent cry on the phone, this video is for you. He might not even be an ex, but he might need to be one, okay? And I know it's hard, especially if you have children with certain people, certain people. <laughs> what, what does that mean? If you have children with this person, then I know it's really hard for us to deal with, you know, co-parenting and things like that. And so maybe for you, this is get over. But for people who don't have attachments, such as breathing, living humans, okay, because if it's a dog, figure it out. And I'm a, I understand the dog mom life. I get it. If it's a plant, figure it out, because some of us are plant moms, okay, all that good stuff. And so... How do you figure it out? I don't know, flip a coin or something. Or who bought the dog? If it was a gift, sis, keep that. But is that going to keep you bound? Okay, let's get back to what I'm trying to say. So how do you get rid of the ex? First, you have to clean up, okay? Clean out everything. Because a person like me, I'm a little extra. If you hurt me and we break up and you're no longer my man, you don't exist anymore. You probably were never even born. Matter of fact, I probably was never supposed to date you. I'm over here acting out of order and now I gotta go talk to God real quick. I can't be mad at him. I'm mad at myself. So get everything out. Every t-shirt, every love letter, every picture, put it in a box. Some of y'all are like, well, I don't know because we might get back together. Okay. Put it in a box. Take that box to one of your friend's house or your mom or your cousin, your auntie's house and say, sis, hold this. Because if I ever want to see any of this stuff again, I got to tell you about it. And if I tell you, hopefully you'll tell me I'm tripping. Okay? Seriously. So get all this stuff. Get it out. Clean out your phone. Don't, don't email those pictures to yourself. Please don't do that because that's a waste of time as well. Don't email the pictures to yourself. Just go. His shirt, his love letters, his pictures, all of that has to go. It all has to go. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to get it together. See, we, we got everything out of the house, the apartment, the room, the couch you sleep on, whatever the case may be, because I don't judge, because honey, trust. <laughs> So after you figure all that out, the next thing you're going to want to do is simply come back to yourself. Come back to yourself and, and cry. And cry real good. And write yourself an email. Write yourself an email every time you want to call him or in your journal. You know, I like to do emails because I don't got time to be wasting paper on my little sad stories. But every time you want to call him, every time you want to message him go look at his social media every time you just, you just think about him and this is week one or day one depending on how thorough you are you know what i'm saying go ahead and just today i'm thinking about johnny i remember when blase blase blah and then you also remind yourself but you know what the reason why i left him was he was cheating he was scheming i told him 
I need you to read the Bible and pray with me. And he wasn't doing that. You shouldn't have been with him anyway, sis, if that was the case. But that's your business. And we all learning and we all growing. And nobody's judging. This is a safe place. And so after you figure that out, after you figure out basically your thought process of your feelings and you're writing your emotions down and you're crying and you're praying and you're reading that word. These, these, this is all step two. Self-care. Just get back to yourself. Get back to yourself. See where you went wrong. How did you allow yourself to be in this relationship or be in this relationship for so long? How did you allow yourself? And don't blame yourself, but really think like, how did I get here? Bet. Because it's not going to happen again. Can I get a witness? Can I get some amens in the comments? Okay. So basically, after you do all that, you are really going to have to go, go like before God and have a meeting and be like, listen, I can't do this relationship thing without you. So the next time I see somebody who I think is cool, I'm going to go to you to see if he's suitable. Because you need to know that the person you date, hopefully he's going to be your husband one day. And if God does not approve, then why are you wasting your time? I know girls just want to have fun. Who? Because, honey, baby. But the truth is, it also can be a waste of time. And we don't want to waste our time anymore. We are so tired of wasting our time. Men have wasted our time. We've been wasting time growing our edges back. We've been wasting our time with the wrong eyebrow lady. Like, let's not waste our time anymore, guys. Like, let's really respect ourselves in such a way. Let's respect ourselves in such a way that people will only come to us correctly. You need to now have a meeting with God. So that's step number three. Three is my favorite number. <laughs> side note <laughs> okay so you need to have a meeting with God now you need to talk to God and say God I messed up like I decided to go and do whatever I felt like doing and I'm sorry and now I need you to help me and there's nothing wrong with that a lot of people like to put shame like oh you only need go to God when you need things why didn't you go to God before well okay I'm learning I'm going to do that next time, prayerfully. But yeah, go to God. Tell me my stuff. Ask for forgiveness. And really, like, seek him now. Like, God, what do you want me to do? Because every time I try to do what I want to do, it doesn't work. And then ask God to heal you. Heal your heart. Like, really, ask God. Like, God, can you come and can you heal my heart? Can you... Can you show me what I have issues with and why I'm struggling to genuinely to be to, to find somebody and genuinely love myself? Because I feel like a lot of times it's a heart issue that we don't want to talk about. Oh, he's this, he's that. Why were you ever even with him? And I'm not blaming you, but I'm just saying a lot of us come from homes or we come from situations that have shifted our uh, the, the reality of ourselves. We forgot who we were. We forgot that we were queens. We forgot that we were daughters of the Most High King. We forgot that we were bosses. Like, seriously. And some of us aren't bosses. Some of us are just chilling. But that, too, you forgot how chill you were, how cool you were, sis. You forgot who you were. And it's okay. I'm here to remind you. We are here to, we are here to prevent you from doing it again. Okay, somebody? So, once you talk to God, you got rid of his stuff. You went ahead and you wrote in your journal. You went and talked to God. And that's like a whole collect. Could be whole one. That could all be one, but it's one, two, and three a day. Okay, but you can do it in the order that you see fit. After you do all of that, you are really going to focus on getting rid of Johnny. Like, it, get rid of him, sis, because he's all up on you, girl. He going to start inboxing you randomly, texting you randomly. Like, oh, she ain't, she ain't hit me up like she used to. She ain't, she ain't blowing my phone up. Oh, you know, he might send you something real cute. Oh, I got a question. I need some advice. You know, my mom made that big ZD that you like. I'm a vegan now. Oh, we made it with uh, 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 almond cheese. I don't like almonds. Okay, even if that, you ain't even got to give him that much energy, if you will. You can just not even, you could just not even do that part you know what i'm saying you could just be like you know what <laughs> new number on that behind no but seriously so protect your peace is the next step protect your peace that's step four protect your peace because he gonna come because sis look at you up in here looking all good in your 
your edges is coming in and your teeth is white and if it's not you don't get that good whitening teeth toothpaste can't even talk you're so excellent <laughs> making me nervous no wonder why johnny wants to call you back okay so after you do that you are definitely can we get into this for a second just this that's the makeup Re revolution foundation stick number 18 i know i said i was gonna talk about the makeup like that but revolution foundation stick number 18 i still got my face mask on my face <laughs> shameful so yeah, you're, you're, you're going to make sure that this man can't come back. You're going to set boundaries for yourself, okay? You're going to set boundaries for yourself. You're going to say, you know what? He likes to hang out at the church house on the Zooms. <laughs> Got to make sure my uh, icon is gone because he can't see my face anymore. And I'm going to um, change my name to iPhone, okay? Because he ain't going to say, oh, I saw you at the, the, in the Zoom meeting. <laughs> no, you didn't. The devil is a liar, okay? And then so after you set boundaries, you're gonna have to live. Ooh, baby girl. You are gonna have to live. And that's the hardest part sometimes. Sometimes the hardest part of getting rid of an ex is just going to live your life. Like, you don't have to sit there. You ain't gotta get up under nothing, but Jesus. And you don't need to get over nothing because the Lord has already conquered it all for you. You go ahead and give that battle to him. Act like it's real, really something. Act like it's a sickness. You know when you get sick, you feel like... You know when you get sick and you feel like, Oh my goodness, I'm going to die. Not like this, God. Not like this. Well, you go ahead and you go to God. And you give it to him. And you say, Lord, I can't do this. Because truth be told... I kind of still like homie. <laughs> Truth be told, he kind of still fine to me. Truth be told, I mean, if he sent me an emoji, I might send him one back. But that's okay because you understand your weakness. And so if that's you, if this is your truth, then you probably need to go on a little fast, sis. Go ahead and go on a fast. Now, if you don't know what a fast is, we can make a video about fasting. Let me know in the comments. But go ahead and go on a fast. You can go on a social media fast. You can go on a fast where you don't eat and drink food and just focus on Jesus and get back to you you know I hate that we like lose ourselves when we're with the man especially a man that's not for us because listen I have been with men who are emotionally draining abusive you know had different mental issues that caused them to be very aggressively um verbal towards me and I just you know I just don't know why we deal with that so much and then this is the kicker for me too there are no numbers here so if you're taking notes I apologize I don't know what number we're on but the kicker is a lot of times like the dude could have something coming up like maybe he's a musician and it's COVID right but let's pretend he's a musician and he has like a concert and you guys were supposed to go out to the concert you know you were supposed to go to the concert to support him so a lot of times we're like oh I was supposed to go support Johnny at the concert sis Johnny didn't support you in real life you can go pray for Johnny and keep it moving. But even that, it's like, come on. I'm not saying don't pray for people, Lord God. I'm going to get struck down. But it's just like, you know, go live your life. Go live your life. Because somebody else will come along. Uh, it might be a thing. It might be a person. But something else will come along. Like, you might find your purpose after this. You might find a better job after this. You might move to a new city after this. Like, Literally, you have the option to do almost anything, if not everything, you want to do. First of all, shout out to everybody who ever made a video like this, where they're talking and they're doing their makeup. I don't, I don't see how y'all do that. This is, this is like a chewing gum and talking. Not chewing gum and talking. What is it? Chewing gum. What is it? Chewing gum and walking backwards. What is y'all? Let me know what it is. What is it? Chewing. I know it's patting your head and rubbing your stomach, but there's another one like, can you chew gum and <laughs> child? I don't know. Clearly, I can't. This is very complex. So I want to tell y'all that when it's time for you to be in another relationship, you're gonna know. Um, so definitely don't run to another person. 
Like that's 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 stupid. That's dumb. Like, oh, that was mean. I'm sorry. That was mean. But no, seriously. Like, why are you running to somebody else? I get tired when I see females. I, I'm all putting on business, but I get tired when I see females go from one dude to the next. Like, give yourself some time. Like, you don't have to jump on the dating app. How about jump in the Bible app? Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, how about write that book you said you was going to write, sis? Like, how about start that business? Like, how about get right with your family? It's like you want to fix this relationship with this broken man, this man who didn't treat you good at all. Why don't you fix the relationship with your... <laughs> Can I talk? <laughs> Why don't you fix the relationship with your children? Fix the relationship with your mother, with your father, with your sister, your brother. You know, fix the relationship with your, ooh, help me Jesus, yourself. And that's really like what we really need to be focusing on. Like the relationship we have with us. How do you get over your ex? <laughs> get in God's presence. How do you get rid of your ex? Know your value, know your worth. Like seriously, because he was attracted to the, the you that didn't know who you were. He was attracted to the you that everybody thinks you're going to be in five years. Nobody realizes that you're still growing, you're still changing, you're still evolving, right? Nobody understands that, but God and a few good friends, I'm sure, a few good friends understand too. So let's grab the eyebrow pencil. So we're like doing a real chill look. Is it focused? Okay. And so now I'm gonna get into my eyebrows. So I've already put put on eyebrow gel. So I'm just gonna get this pencil and put some lines in. I think a lot of times we like to like work out when we break up with somebody. We we like to go vegan. Can I can I be real? I'ma lose weight now. Hmm. And you like to go vegan when you break up with somebody. And those things are glorious too, but it's like, if the heart posture and the foundation and the reason isn't right, the moment you find another man, you're going to lose yourself again. The moment you find another relationship, you're going to be like, okay, I can eat what I want now. And that dude's going to be like, oh, I like you because you were vegan. You know what's going on? You know? But it's time to literally like stop i look at women that i know who really have done a really good job at avoiding bad relationships and i think we all have at least one bad relationship to our standard of bad right and i think that it doesn't matter if my bad is you're terrible or you're terrible is mine never you know we're not here to compare but i know a few good women who have never really been in bad relationships because it only took one for them to learn and so if this is your fifth bad relationship if this is your second don't beat up yourself but realize there's something going on with me inside internally you know so love yourself that's the next step and i mean it's easy to say oh that's step one but sometimes it's hard to love yourself sometimes it's hard to love yourself Especially when you're with somebody who consistently disrespects you, mistreats you, mishandles you. Or it might not even be like somebody who is mishandling you. You all might just be growing in different directions. And this is when you really got to get rid of him because he like loves you. And you're like, I know, but you're over there and I'm over here. And if you're not coming with me, I got to go. And you can't get mad if he goes and finds Julia and starts dating sis. And they get married and have kids. And don't sit there and be like, oh, man, I should have stayed with him. Oh, he a millionaire now. Wow. Let me go to his house and fall and sue. You know, it's just like, no, sis. That's not the plan either. My memory was full. <laughs> Literally. No, but. So let's talk about the fact that. If you don't get over him. While he's either treating you bad or you need to leave him alone or after y'all break up. If you don't get rid of him, homie will move on. And it's better. There's like a quote that's like it's better to heal broken. Wait, 
well, I don't know the quote, guys. It's like it's better to help hurt youth than heal broken men or something. Y'all know the y'all know the quote. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But it's like it's better to go ahead and just hurt a little and get through it than let that person continue to hurt you. Allowing that person to continue to have access to you. Okay, so we we did the self-care, we did the talk to Jesus, you know. Let's talk about what you don't need to do. What you don't need to do is listen to a thousand sad songs. What you don't need to do is go get belligerent and drink and smoke and cry. What you don't need to do is go sleep with the next fine thing. <laughs> hey, sons. Mm. Uh, you don't need to do that, sis. You don't need to do none of that. What you do need to do is get your friends involved i remember one time i was talking to this guy i had no business talking to him i had to call a bunch of my friends i did a group text so it wasn't even like nobody could ignore me eventually everybody's gonna respond and i was like listen i like this guy he's not really he's a good person but he's not for me for these reasons blase bliss blase that because sometimes you need to get rid of a good person allegedly you know what i'm saying if he's not god's choice is he a good choice no so yeah, and that was real because then people start asking you as months pass, they're, they're, they're like, so, uh, you good, sis? And you're like, yeah, I'm fine. What's, what do you mean? What? Why wouldn't I be? What? <laughs> I'm okay. No, you're not okay. Like, nah, girl, I actually have still been crying about Johnny. You know what I'm saying? And all this and all that. And that's why you got to let your friends know when you're tripping and you're like still stuck on somebody and if your friends don't want to listen get you some new friends okay get you some new friends go to my instagram angela solutions and go peep the comments because some of those people i met on social media and most of those people i don't know but we hype each other up okay we hype each other up real talk this has turned into a, a conversation about a lot of things um, we've talked about how to get rid and get over an ex, but also how to disvalue yourself, how not to, to cry about somebody who's not worried about you. It's interesting because I think about like my past self and how I was just talking to my mom the other day and I was just like, if I would have married any of those exes that I was dating, I would not be the person that I am right now. I had been with a few decent people and a few ter few terrible people, um, you know, and it's so interesting because my mom was never like, oh, don't date him, don't date him. She really let me have my experiences, and that's cool. Um, I also realized that a lot of the times we don't even realize, like, our value, our worth, and sometimes it takes a friend to tell us. You're worth more than that, you know? It's really important to love yourself. It's really important to know your worth. Because like I was saying, if I would have married like any of those guys that I was talking to back in my youth, in my youth, if I would have married any of them, I would have been a whole different person, okay? A whole different person. I was going for something a lot more natural, but clearly, I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, who do you want to be, right? Like, who do you want to be? Because that's what you that's how that's who you need to show up as. Show up show up show up as that person every single day. How do you get rid of him? How do you get over him? You show up as yourself. The person that you wasn't before, the person that you wasn't showing up as before. You know, you got caught up in that mess and it like sucks. Yeah, you got caught up in it. But you don't have to stay there. You don't have to stay stuck. And a lot of times like our parents might be cool with our exes and you know what? You gotta let your parents know, listen, I don't bang with this person, so if you want to be cool with him still, that's y'all. But don't sit here and expect me to accept the ignorance of a person that I don't I don't associate with myself anymore. 
Like, and that's just that. And either they respect it or they respect it, you know? Now let's talk about that guy who like you don't even want to talk to no more. That one who was like a creeper. Um, how to get rid of him? Restraining order. Sis, get you a good old fashioned restraining order. Let people know that he's stalking you. Let people know that he is obsessed with you. And let people know that y'all are broken up. Because that's scary. Y'all want to die. And I mean that as I put my my mascara on. That sounds real insecure, but no, not insecure. Inconsiderate. But, um, seriously, you need to let him know. <laughs> it's so creepy. <laughs> you need to let him know that you're not about that life. And that he needs to respect boundaries. Sorry for the blurry video. Alright, so it's safe to say that your girl is probably not gonna do another get ready with me while giving solutions. That was very complex, but at least my face is ready for the day. So, just to recap in no particular order, when it's time for you to get over an ex or get rid of an ex when you're ready, and I hope you're ready when it's time, um, remember to always lean on God, journal, write down all your emotions and feelings, not only the things that you missed about the person, but the thing, the reason why you left the person. Make sure you let your friends know what's going on, especially if it's somebody that you didn't even tell them that you were talking to, because a lot of times you can find yourself reaching out, watching their social media. And so for those reasons, don't text them, maybe even change your number. Don't go on their social media maybe even take a break from social media if you have stuff in your house or in your apartment or wherever uh of that person definitely put the shirt put the diary put the tickets from the movie that y'all went on your first day his cologne whatever in a box and take it to somebody else's house if you don't want to throw it in the trash because that's what it is sis if he says he wants his stuff back it's COVID out here leave it at the front porch and keep it moving and definitely just love yourself love yourself you know do the things that you've always wanted to do focus on your future you got this you can be whoever you want to be some of us might feel like we don't have a community listen i don't know about you but i've met some of my best friends i'm lying they're not my best friends <laughs> i met some real good women via instagram via facebook so definitely find a local church find life groups see what's going on in your city i know it's a lot of covid situations so we want to be safe but definitely find a zoom meetup do something that you've always wanted to do write that book paint that picture lose that weight you know there's so many things about you that are great but you can't let your past mistakes affect your future i know you want to be great and i know you want to be loved and i know you are loved and i know you are great but to you it's all about what you know what you think if you don't remember who you are know who you are there's a bible that this man named jesus is all up in and he loves you so much so you know definitely uh come back come back for a better video because this was really janky <laughs> but we do janky here well we always have solutions for you as well so make sure you come back for the next video go ahead and comment your favorite part if there is one and if there isn't go ahead and just like it anyway because your girl is trying to get to a thousand matter of fact if you're not following please follow now because i'm trying to get to a thousand followers and i really need your support and help go ahead and share this with a friend and i'll see you in the next video This has been a really rough video to create. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay.